the Democratic Party establishment is going to try to crush you. They're going to try to marginalize you in Congress. What do you think your relationship will be? Like, do you plan to be more antagonistic? Uh, give us a sense of like how you'll um, respond to the Democratic Party establishment. How I'll respond? You said they're going to try to crush me. Listen here. I'm a 34-year-old, six-foot-eight black man who's the son of immigrants living in America. America has tried to crush me since I was born. I can walk out of the door the day and get shot by a trigger-happy cop. So worrying about somebody trying to crush me doesn't scare me one single bit. I'm not going to Washington to make friends. I'm going to Washington to solve problems. I don't give a damn if, if I'm blessed enough to win. If I serve one term and help better the people's lives in this district, then my mission is accomplished. Mission accomplished. I am not going there to try to rub elbows with the rich or the elite or get name recognition or a book deal or a goddamn podcast. That is not who I am. That is not what I am going for. I am going there to fight. I just told you. It's not time to capitulate. It's not time to beg or to, to, to hope or pray. We have to be audacious. We have to demand. it. The times call for it. Um, You know what? This middle of the road politics, this centrist politics gets us. It gets us separate but equal, which was never equal. Middle of the road politics gets us three fist clause that said I was half a person as a black man. Middle of the road clause gets us that, you know, loving be Virginia. You can't marry a black woman. If you can, you just got to move out of states. All of these things are those middle of the road politics. I don't play that. I'm going there with a clear vision and a clear thought of mine to make people's lives in this district better. And in doing so, I will make, be making people's lives across this country better because Brooklyn, Central Brooklyn, where I'm running, is a melting pot. You can walk down the street and run into 50 different nations walking down Flatbush Avenue. That's how diverse this district is. So I know if I'm standing up for the person in Crown Heights or Flatbush or East Flatbush, I'm standing up for the person in, in Alabama. I'm standing up for the person in Tennessee and Georgia and PA. I'm standing up for that hard work in person. Now, if it come time to for, force the vote, you're damn right. We should have forced the vote. If I was there, I would have been that guy standing there telling you we need to force the vote. What are you going to say to me? What is the downside of fighting for people in my community? I don't get a committee assignment. I'm not going there for that. I don't you get a committee assignment. You got to bring in a certain amount of money and do all this stuff. OK, good. Cool. You get that. If I get one. Thank you. God bless. But if I don't get one, cool. I still have to represent the people who sent me here to Washington to fight for them. And that's what I plan to do. So I've been shot. I've been blown up. All that stuff. When I my time in Iraq and Afghanistan, what are they going to do to me? What are they going to do or say to me that I hasn't already been done or said to me in my life?